Hi there, I'm Amy from Cooking with a Full Plate, and I know that a number of you bought Instant Pots on Prime Day recently, or maybe you got one for the holidays, and there seems to be a lot of people who are a little bit nervous about jumping into the pressure cooker game, and I could see why, uh, but given that, I thought I would just do a quick video today of something I love to make in my pressure cooker, how I do it, in hopes of showing you that it's really not that scary and it's such a great tool to have to make things quickly, easily, and without any attention from you. So here we go. Okay, so what I have here is two cups of short grain brown rice that have been soaking in water for about eight hours. You can do this overnight or up to 24 hours. And the reason I soak my rice is just to make it a little bit more digestible, especially with all the focus on grains and their either positive attributes or potentially negative health effects. I just think soaking increases their digestibility a little bit. So that's what I'm working with here. Um, I'm just draining that water out and then I'm gonna put the two cups of brown rice into the instant pot. And then I've measured out two cups of water. The recommended ratio for brown rice in the instant pot is one and a quarter cups water to one cup of rice. In this case, I'm going a little bit light on it uh, with the two cups versus what would normally be two and a half because I know that there's some water that's gone into that rice It's already started Sprouting and digesting a little bit ahead of time and I don't want my rice to get too sticky unless I'm making something like Sushi so now the water is in there. The rice is in there. I'll give a quick shake of some Himalayan sea salt Let's flavor it up And then we're gonna put the lid on lid goes on. We want to make sure that the top is set to sealing. That's how you're going to make sure that it comes up to pressure. And then I'm doing the manual mode. That's the most common one that I use. And I'm going to go with 23 minutes for this. The recommendation for brown rice is 22 to 25 minutes. Setting it for 23. After about 10 seconds, that's what I was waiting for, it's going to set to on, and now it'll be coming up to pressure. That should take between maybe 5 and 10 minutes to come up to pressure. You'll know that when the little lock comes up on the lid, you'll kind of hear some steam, and then you'll see the lock come up on the lid, and then this will start counting down the 23 minutes. That's how you know it's come to pressure. And then once the pressure has released, it's going to go to warming and show that it's done cooking. And I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. So this is what I was saying earlier that on the display there, you can see that it has 12 minutes remaining in its pressure cooking cycle. So it came to pressure, it's cooked for 11 minutes already, and it has 12 remaining before the pressure starts letting out. All right, so you can see now that the screen says L000, that's because the pressure just reached its time limit of 23 minutes that we set and now it's going into keep warm mode if you could see the lock up here is still up so this is next to your vent button and that lock tells me that it's not time to take the lid off yet i'm allowing natural release to happen here so i'm just going to wait until that little button goes down and then i can either open this up or i might just let this sit here until dinner time keeping warm and then have it ready to go when we're ready to eat. 